The inspiration was to bring golf back to Central Ohio and to bring uh, a sporting event to the people that, that supported me all my life. He just said, Columbus has been so good to me, and if there's anything I would like to do, it's to give something back to Columbus because I could never repay the city and the people in Columbus for all that they'd done for him. He's always had the greatest affection for the people of Columbus, the greatest affection for what he would call Midwestern, you know, old-fashioned values. It's almost hard to put into words the amount of affection, respect, and just pure joy of the association he has with Columbus, Ohio. The plan was to bring a world-class golf course and then subsequently a world-class PGA Tour event to the area, but it had to be perfect and it had to be done by Nicholas himself, who had begun to dabble in golf course design. I enjoyed golf course design. I was still playing golf, obviously. And the idea of trying to put the best golf course out here and continually tweak it, we're just trying to do things to make it better and better, not only for the player, but for also for the spectator. We grow up in Columbus, you know the Ohio State Buckeyes football team dominates the fall. But back then, there wasn't really anything else throughout the year. And he saw the impact of tournaments in other communities, and he felt like Columbus was right for hosting one of their own. A parcel of land in the tiny village of Dublin, where Jack and his father Charlie once hunted, was acquired, and the process of creating his masterpiece began. The land is a nice piece of ground that had uh, great trees on it. We had a couple of creeks that ran through the property, and those those were I basically concentrated my golf around. I may have been, you know, 10 or 11 years old at the time, but. Um, I remember seeing the, the uh, copperhead snakes uh, on the edge of the creeks, and it's sometimes hard to imagine what we're looking at today and what it used to be. It would take six years to finally begin construction on the course, and four more before the Memorial Tournament would play on it. But in the midst of one of his finest stretches of golf, his passion project was finally taking off, and both Dublin and the Columbus area were now officially on the map. We were probably the first community to do this sort of thing. I figured that the city needed something of this nature. And, uh, and once we put it together, it exploded. When Jack decided to build a golf course, he wasn't just building a golf course, he was really building a community. Back before he had done that, Dublin was 681 residents. Uh, the city had about $2,770 in their bank account, one stoplight two police officers and a couple of firefighters. In 1950, there were only 250,000 people that lived in Columbus, and now uh, 850,000 people do, almost the exact run of that same 41 years of the Great Memorial Tournament. We're very pleased at what's happened there, and it's great that when people come here, they say, wasn't that a nice area? Isn't that a nice week? Isn't that a nice tournament? Isn't that a nice golf course? That's what we want. Since their inceptions, both the Memorial Tournament presented by Nationwide and Muirfield Village have certainly fulfilled Jack's original dream, a world-class venue and world-class event in his hometown, the place where his amazing journey began. Muirfield Village Golf Club and the Memorial Tournament, they're kind of a confluence of what my dad's legacy is. It's a bit of a gift from my dad back to the fans and the people of Central Ohio that had so much influence on my dad. I would say that this is very much Jack's gift to golf, also his gift to Columbus, and really a gift to things that just meant a lot to him. It's a testament of how loyal and how good of a person he is to remember where his roots were that he wanted to get back to this area. His roots are here and his heart is here and, and the vision that he set uh, not only for the golf course, but for the surrounding community is really exceptional. Muirfield obviously is a large part of my life, and I'm very proud of it. I think everybody that comes here likes it, and everybody that comes here can't wait to get back, and that's a good thing.